Hello and welcome to a lovely quiet morning here in beautiful Nova Scotia. I'm at my border, uh, which sort of borders my driveway. It's in a bit of a mid-season lull at the moment in colour, but we've already gone through some beautiful displays of, of tulips and, and poppies and lupins were, were wonderful just a, a few weeks ago and I've cut those back now because they were looking rather scruffy. But one of the really beautiful, the most beautiful displays along here so far this year has been the creeping phlox. One of the first flowers coming out in the garden. It was dazzling me for, for weeks and weeks here along the border and in various different parts on the edges of, of borders. But now is a really good time to give it a bit of a trim, cut it back. Um, and sort of put some shape into it so that you get a really good display next year. So I thought I'd do a quick tutorial or a quick, you know, show you how I, I trim up my creeping flocks to make sure it's in fantastic condition next spring. Let's have a look, shall we? So you can see this is all looking a bit straggly now. And in close-ups, you've got bits hanging off the back here and starting to creep out into the border. And, and it, if I leave it unchecked, then it'll take over all over here and start to crowd out other plants, which I don't want. I want it in effect on this border just to be sort of softening the stones themselves and, and providing a sort of green counterpoint to the hard greys, etc. So I don't want it going in there for a start. And also we've got all dead leaves, uh, dead flowers rather, all sorts of bits here um, that will sort of hinder its progress next year if I don't get rid of them. So a good set of like scissor type secateurs or um, some scissors themselves are the best or just you know if you've got sharp secateurs fine but these are these sort of cut a bit better and what I'm going to do is just give it a bit of a haircut and you can see from the other one that I've done there on the left here it's just nice and nice and neat and a sort of nice rounded dome of of a plant so I want to cut this back nicely up tight against the stone here just to give it some shape otherwise you know that it'll just straggly near and in it just starts to look scruffy and then it won't flower as much either And at the back here, I want to cut this all the way back. Oh, I should have put the knee pads on. All these straggly bits. You can be quite aggressive with it. And the top here, I want to cut it right back. So we're getting rid of all the, the dead flowers, etc. All right, I'm going to carry on with this and then I'll come back. You've got the general gist. We're sort of cutting back here hard, cutting back on the top and cutting back on the front to make it nice and neat. We'll come back and we'll have a look at it at the end. And there we go. Nice and neat now. Oh, you can actually see Mr. Noma a little bit better. But we've got a nice framework now, nice and neat, compact framework. Give itself a chance to grow now over the next few months and it may sometimes i even uh, give it a bit of a bit of a tidy up in early spring although obviously you don't want to do too much because that's when the the flowers are are forming but i do give it a bit of a a trim if there's any straggly bits in spring but this is nice a nice sort of dome nice and compact ready to get some good growing over the rest of the summer and ready to uh, provide me that, that beautiful display in early spring next year. Jobs are good.